Here's what we're going to create today. That's nice sunset. I've added, if you'll notice, I've added orange into here, which I haven't on the um, original video I made. This is the afterwards film bit, so you can see what's what. I will show you some more at the end of the video of other skies I've done that you can get an idea of what's the same procedures I carried out on those. Ah, good afternoon. Thanks for tuning into my channel, uh, Steve Hewitt's Painting. Today we're going to do a simple sky and the colours I've got on this palette little blobs and they are just bear with me, is royal blue magenta phthalo blue and naples yellow and white of course and i'm going to use a one and a half inch brush and a number six i think it is yep a number six for stippling a, a I'll show you what I do with that later. Okay, let's begin. First of all, I need to do a line where my horizon is. So, roughly about there, I would think. Yeah, about there. A line across. Get a straight line. And then, with a bit of linseed oil, which I've just pumped into this tray on the side there. This is an old meat and uh, veg tray that I had, and I've got a hole in it by the look of it, never mind. So we'll get some linseed oil and the white, and I'm just going to put it on there, all over, nice and thin. Oops, I'm getting it everywhere here. <laughs> a bit clumsy. Just like that. A bit more linseed. Just give it a coating. That's all it needs. Just gives the paint a chance to move around a little bit freer. Picked up a bit of colour there. Never mind, no matter. It's no big deal. And just coat the whole section you want the horizon, the um, sky to be. I'll get the words right in a minute. Just so it's all coated. And if you look to the lights, you can see it. You won't be able to see that from where you are, but trust me, it is. Now then, now we're going with a bit of blue. Bit of darker blue. Well, it is a dark blue, that isn't it? Never mind, doesn't matter. No big deal. Like that. Work your way across. Bit lighter with the royal blue mixed. Come down. Bit of white. You get lighter near the horizon. A bit of magenta. Only a little bit. And then just smooth it all out like that. You can always neaten the line up afterwards. I know I've gone over the line I've just put on, it doesn't matter. A bit more magenta. Just a little bit here and there. Just give it a little bit of colour. Now I'm going to put that brush down. And we're going to the number six brush I told showed you before. Yeah? Now then, what we're going to do with this now is use the brush like that 
So I'm rolling it with my fingers. And what you need to do is to, with it being so wet, you need to dry the brush, wipe the brush, so to, so to say, and then just put blobs of white where you want the, the clouds to form, like that. Wipe it again because it's contaminated. A bit more white, pure white, just like that. And then push into the, the painting or the sky. Like that. Wipe it again. What you're really after is just to let the outside line, which is there. And my phone's going off, I'm sorry about that. This is what it is when you when you're trying to do something, somebody always tries to contact you, don't they? But never mind. So get more white. Like that. Try it going off the, the canvas. Oh, this is um, plywood, by the way, I'm working on. Plywood that's been coated in gesso, two coats of gesso. And then the, the liquid white, we all call it. It's not really liquid white, it's just plain white, titanium white with olive oil. Uh, linseed oil, I'll get right in a minute. Get my words right. We'll get in there slowly. Like that. And then, what we do then, we do circle motions like that to mix it all together. But leaving the edge. Like that. Make your fluffy clouds. like that. Wipe the brush, otherwise all the colour is going to mix all together, it's going to be laying down like mud. And then what we do, we go back to the other brush, give that a wipe, because that will be full of colour from the blue. Just rub it in this cloth, like that. In fact, I think I might get another brush. Yeah, I think I will. I'll get another brush. Uh, let me look. That one. Nice clean brush, yeah? And then what we do now is we just barely touch this. Barely touch it. You can see, whoops. Like that, barely touch. And then I'll show you what we'll do next. Next, we get some Naples yellow. Mixed it with the um, just a second. Right, yeah, that's it. Naples yellow with the name of the uh, Madder. Magenta, I should say, magenta. And then we just go in like that. Just gives it a bit like that. A little bit more, a bit more yellowy. need to do is to build it up colour like that a bit more and 
I'm rolling the brush as you can see roll it round and round then with the clean brush I think that the other brush is a bit coarse for what I want so what I'll do is go back to the original brush I said and just wipe it off with a bit of tea cloth paper cloth like that a lot of blue in this as you can see it's coming up onto me paper towel never mind that's what we want and then we just soften it just soften the whole lot like that turn the brush over so keep it clean That's all we do, barely touch the canvas, or the board in my case, barely touch it. And if you're not happy, unsaid, happy with it, that's, that's easy done. All we do is clean the brush, the fillet brush I was using before, so it's white, clear white again, and just put more white on. So we need some more white there. If you think it's too dark, a bit more there. And possibly a bit there. Just roll the brush, that's all you do. All I'm doing, rolling the brush. Get a bit of colour up there. You can create your own atmosphere in paintings. Right, just going over the top. Nice clean brush, or fairly clean, and just barely touch. Just barely touch it. Gives it a bit more atmosphere isn't it so that's what the sky is There's a lot of atmosphere in the sky it's changing constantly let's go that way That's too much of a line there, isn't there? So what we'll do there, we'll lift it up. Lift it up a bit. And then smooth it out again. How's that? That's better, isn't it? Yeah, it's more like it. Lift that up a bit. I'm hardly touching the canvas, the board. Hardly touching. Ever so lightly. Well, I hope that's helped you, and uh, we'll be doing the rest of it another time. And uh, I hope that's what you what you wanted to know how to do. But uh, if you like my videos, please subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye for now. Here's another um, painting I made which is um, Naples yellow, orange, phthalo blue, white and magenta to make the purple. Give it atmospheric. And I've got another one, which is that one. Can you see that? That's just um, phthalo blue, white and magenta. So as you can see, you can get quite different effects. I'm not too happy with the C part of it down the bottom, but work in progress, as they say. Well, thanks again for watching, and please subscribe.
I'll be making more videos for you to watch. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Take care.